Good evening, or good afternoon, that is. Whoa. Good afternoon. Welcome to UA Live Break Room. Garrett in the house. Joe joining me, helping me out in the back room. Joe, how's it going? Good, Garrett. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm doing well. Doing Welcome well. in. Let's uh, do a quick rundown of what we got. We got five more Heisman boxes left. We rolled through them last night, Donnie and myself. So if you want to hop in those, um, we'll, uh, we'd love to try and finish those off tonight, or this afternoon. Again, dang it. <laughs> Habits, man. Still early. Still, I'm so used to doing the night shows. You're exactly right. We got uh, complete uh, helmets. We got complete jerseys. We got Tay Tay minis. We got the Duke football. We got general admission. Uh, you're going to see uh, a slap shot uh, up on our page. Uh, but that is for Tuesday afternoon, Joe's Bazooka Joe's hockey show. So uh, if you want to buy in there, get in there early. That'd be awesome as well. Football, and it's fine. Sending damage back money. Fantastic, Kevin. Happy we uh, helped you out on that one. Uh, let's start off with our dice roll. Dice roll rules state what, Joe? Six or higher. There we go. Perfect. And we got ourselves. Ooh, a 12. Oh. I haven't gotten a 12 in a minute. I dread those Must high be. numbers because it's like one, two, three. Must it's be a that lot kind of, of day. For someone like me. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, are you breaking mini personals day? Yes, Chris. We will be breaking your personal. We're going to do complete helmet and then your personal, Chris. So if you want to give us a box number, we've got um, we've got uh, 31, 35, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 in the room, and then 45 through 60 in the back. So if you want to just throw a box number in there, then yeah, we will definitely get that going for you. First break going to be our complete helmet break. Looking for a box number in the chat. If you're part of this break, please uh, offer us a box number. Thank you for joining us. If you joined us last night, again, thank you. Uh, we had a really, really fun time, Donnie and myself. Just a real kind of laid-back break. We we, 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 uh, we broke a lot of boxes, pulled a lot of fire. So, I mean, that's a, that's a good Friday night for sure. 51 for my mini personal. Chris, perfect. I'm going to write that down here momentarily. You don't have to count counts for you. 10, 11, 12. Random.com. You want me to randomize the numbers? Oh, Kevin's not even in the break. <laughs> All right. 48. Mike, thank you. All right, here we go. <clears throat> to 60. Here we go. Good luck. First break of the afternoon. Sweet hit right here. JSA, COA, we got ourselves a 2,000-yard rusher. We got Chris Johnson, CJ2K. Tennessee Titans this is their new school helmet. Rep going to the AFC South and Chris Bishop. Chris, dope hit right there. Congratulations. Very cool. Starting the uh, starting the day off with some Ws because uh, technically the personal counts as a dub as well. That's just a more, uh, that's an easier dub than right. trying to go through some people. Chris, nice hit. Grab that personal for you, Chris. We'll just keep it rolling. Joe, entertain him <laughs> while I'm gone. For we've, a got, <laughs> <laughs> we've got we've um, got that Heisman number one. Phil, we'll get to that in a minute. 
as well, and we'll get another one up there posted in a minute. All right, here we go. Chris Bishop, personal. If you want to hop into a personal, go check out our mystery box page. Um, we have all of our stuff that we have in the breaks for, uh, I guess, full retail. If you want to get anything open personally, I believe there's a box that you check says, I want it open live on the break. We can certainly do that for you. Here we go, Chris. Good luck. 51 is 60. All right, we got ourselves a Pittsburgh Steeler, four-time Super Bowl champ. We got Rocky Flyer. Awesome hit right there, Chris. Hall of Famer. Steelers legend. Very cool, very cool. If the football sells out while live, will you rip it? Absolutely. And if we if it doesn't fill up by this if it doesn't fill up during this break, it will be broken and well hopefully filled and we will break it for the night's break. Tonight's break. First time checking out. Thank you for joining us. Great question. Happy to, uh, happy to welcome you. All righty. If I understand as I walked away that our Heisman is ready to go, to, there it is. Yes. Sick. All right, here we go. Heisman number one. Again, we've got five boxes left for that one. So the five box numbers you see are the, uh, the last ones we have available. So if you're part of this break, let's get a box number in the chat, please, and get it going. Duke is sold out. We'll get to that. In nice. A Chris Gibbs, here's what we're going to do for that. We're going to do three singles, and then we're going to finish the series off with a double. Does that work? We're going to do three Heisman singles, and then finish the series off with a double. I think that's a, a good way to end it off. All right, we got Chris Stanhope, Thomas, Michael, Richard, Bill, Steve, Cody. In this break, Steve with the box number. Steve, thank you. 29. Oh. Mmm. The keyboard wants to work. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we, we, we know what it is. We'll fit, it's all good. It's all good. We'll get it to work. <laughs> Keyboard's acting up? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about it sometimes. Don't know about it sometimes. Ooh. So it's got a bit of weight to it. So it's got a bit of weight to it. Oh. All right, here we go. We've got 29 of 35. Here we go, good luck. Cool. Very cool. We got a Beckett. C-O-A. We got one of the 
best receivers of all time. We got ourselves from Marshall, Randy Moss. There you go. Dope uh, patriotic Marshall helmet. Uh, shut authentic. Going to Chris Stanhope in the NFC North. His longest tenure was a Minnesota Viking. That is dope. Got stars on the stars and stripes as your stripe. USA flag M. That's dope hit right there. Chris, nice hit. That's nice. That's sweet. I didn't know we had that. Who knows? You know, sometimes Dang. we get a surprise as much as everybody else. <laughs> right? Steve, thanks for keeping your uh, your uh, your anger or I guess upsetness uh, clean. I appreciate the fact. Hey, see if you can uh, try and trade that, Chris. See if you. First time I really needed to switch it up. Cool. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're doing that Duke football. I believe you're a part of that. Let me get a. Can I get a name on that? Bra Baker two hundred two. So I will either not just keep calling you you and something. Uh, get a name on that account. Uh, Brew Baker. Oh, Brew Baker, not Bruh. Oh, I thought. Wow, my eyes are uh, a little bit off. I guess. My bad, Brew Baker. That's a, that's my bad. <laughs> Yeah, the, the U and the H made a... Never mind. I'm not even going to try to explain myself. That was an L. That was an L. Oh, there we go. Zach. Brew Baker. There he is. Zach, thanks for joining us. Let's get a box number in the chat, please, for our uh, Duke football. There we go. Oh my goodness. It takes like half a year to get around there. 12. Dave, thanks for the box number. 19. 19. Oh, it's this way. 19. Thank you. Perfect. Here we go. We got 19 of 40. Not knife safety 101 right there. <laughs> the other day I came close to uh, drawing a little blood. Yeah. Yes. Uh, safety rule number one in the break room. Fortunately, at times you, you might have to give blood to the break room. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got ourselves a LSU white panel football. We got wide receiver Dwayne Bow going to the AFC West and David Berard. David, nice hit. Got the uh, LSU Tiger eye on this side. You got Tigers on the other side. Really cool hit right here. Spent, uh, Dwayne Bow spent most, if not all, of his career as a chief. I think he. Yeah, he was a dominant wide receiver. He was. For, he had about two or three, three years stretch. Yeah, there where he, he, was, was, he was the guy. Right. And then, I don't know if he had injuries, but he. You know, sometimes you think like these guys can play forever. I, I mean, they, what, what do they say? Like the average. Career, but three and a half years. years, two and a half years, two and a half, three years, yeah. Yeah, and then you see some of these guys. You think, yeah, he only played six years. Like, well, that's actually exceeding. Uh, Incredible stuff. Nice job, man. Yeah, yeah. So, but he was really good back in the day. Not not long ago. I mean, he's uh, he get, he's he probably still retired. in his 30s. Yeah, he's still yeah. in his 30s. I think he retired in twenty. Mm, I don't remember. Uh, like twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because I think his span of his stretch of good of goodness was like 09 to like 2012 or something. That that sounds about right. I have a uh, I have a I have a Dwayne Bow patch card. 
that I yeah. got a long time ago that probably was worth some money when it, I got it, but it's just been sitting in my room. <laughs> so uh, it's not worth a whole lot, but it's cool because... Yeah, those are a big deal, right? The patch. The patch guy. Yeah, the, the, it, it goes like... Um, those like autograph cards and then like patches and then there's like once we, we once we hop you into cards which I don't know when that's gonna be uh, then there's like you gotta you gotta know like how many colors there are in the patch you know the know. more colors the the better the the, the thing and yeah, all that and I'm colorblind so that's I think I'm gonna be challenging uh, uh, some of the stuff challenges gonna be now on the computer where did I start looking at the cards I'd be like it looks green I think it's uh, might be blue what are you whoever's in the break room I'm just gonna be holding it up across the monitors and saying. All right, anybody what in the chat, what color is this? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's all good. I, 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 I think we'll leave those to Donnie for now. <laughs> I think he knows all the parallels and all that stuff. And I'm like, it's a... It should be a college class, baseball card collecting. That would be a popular class in I college, would take right? that card every collecting? year. Right? I would take that every year. Yeah, what's, what's your, uh, what are you minoring in? Oh, my God. Uh, card there collecting. is a, there, I, I... If I didn't decide to go play football, I was considering getting a degree in sports history from Western Michigan. There's a there's a there's degree a, in th sports there's, history. There's a sports history where you like, I, maybe it's not a degree. Maybe I'm, I'm going one test step too far. But uh, what I understand is there's like a group of classes. Maybe it's a sports history minor. Seriously. But I'm like. Like go work wow. at Canton or something would be sick. Is that for like all the athletes who I just want to take the. Uh... The easy class. I don't know. I think to be that might not be super easy. You might have to take tests on like. Uh, true. You know, I mean, I might be okay with it because I I think I know enough history of stuff. But like, you know, if it's sports It'd history, be fun. Oh yeah. You know, you got to do Olympic history. You got to do. I mean, you got to do other sports history sure. more than just like the four major sports. You'd rather do that than like uh, you know Civil War. Uh, right. History. I mean, nothing against you know. My uh, you know, there's some Civil one War of, buffs out there. One of my one of my roommates was a was a history major, and he was a he's a war a war uh, buff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I mean, he I, he wouldn't take any offense to it. But I understand what you're saying. <laughs> right. Um. Anyway, that was a, a consideration of mine because I was like, I would love to work at like a Hall of Fame or something. It would be oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. Right. Who knows? Maybe maybe one day we'll see. It's like working here. You're just talking sports exactly. all day and like, looking at cool stuff. Exactly, exactly right. <laughs> it's really true. I'm a history professor. <laughs> professor Newsom, Newsom is a history professor. Uh -huh. All history, or uh, do you have a specific uh, specification of history? What's your favorite history? I don't know how to ask a history <laughs> teacher about anything. I didn't. I, What's, like, your, what's your expertise, I guess, maybe? Yeah, there you go. That's uh, a good that's, history. That's a much better wording of that, Joe. I just... Yeah, I like history, like, but but more like sports history. Like, I know, right. He's the guy who used to read Sports Almanac when he was... Uh, Almanacs when he was a kid. California and, history. You know, California me. history. Okay, cool. Very cool, very cool. But yes, I did used to read Sports Almanacs. I, uh... I think I told you this. Um, yeah, it's our, great, it's great. I love hearing uh, that. I, I'm not like I'm not making fun of it because no. I was kind of the same way with yeah. my baseball cards. Exactly. Growing up, I'd be like you know, I'd be studying my cards when I should have been, should have been studying my math. Or exactly something, right. My history. Uh, sports in my lectures. That's awesome. That's fantastic. I think that, that that's helpful. Uh, what what uh, what grade are you? Uh, what grade do you work in? Oh, I guess a professor sounds more of a college professor. Yeah. I don't think a lot of high school teachers call themselves. A professor. They probably could. I mean, they definitely could. Probably college. Yeah, right? I'm gonna guess college. Um, no, I our school. I don't know why community college. Cool, very cool, very cool. Um, our school, for some reason, in middle school, had the NFL rule book <laughs> to check out. Really? And I checked it That's out. Cool. And I re that was my <laughs> that was my fun reading. I don't know why, but uh, I read the. I, can I, see that'd be fun. I read the. I read like it was like the 2011 version of the. Yeah. <laughs> Bakers of Field College. That's very cool. Awesome. Hope yeah. it hope it's not too difficult. If you're, I'm I'm guessing you're doing probably Zoom, Zoom College and all that. Yeah. Sports rule books and sports all night. I know. It's just you get into some sort of uh, you get into something that you really enjoy, and then you just kind of start reading and learn about odd things. And I, uh, I have a much better uh, retention for sports. Facts than anything I ever learned in history. 
Right. Uh, I took AP history in uh, in high school. You did. The only fact I remember is that Paul Revere would have never said the Redcoats are coming because at that time they were all Redcoats because technically the, the United States was not. That's the only thing I remember. Wow. It's, it's an interesting fact. It was it something that makes fact. that makes sense. I'm like, oh, that that, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I took the AP, AP U.S. history test. To get college credit, that didn't go very well. No. And then I, I think I took uh, AP U.S. government as well, which I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. It was um, it was more difficult then. Gym class was more fun anyway. <laughs> or any of my, like, graphic design. Or we had a printmaking class. That was fun. We just make T-shirts all the time. That was, that was cool. There you go. Yeah, but yeah, well, those days are well, well, well over. That was... <laughs> My goodness, I took AP U.S. History like junior year of, co- of high school, so that was like six years ago. Right. But yeah, that's the only thing I remember. <laughs> we are looking to fill uh, some spots here. We still got, uh, we have four left in the uh, complete helmet break number two. Four left in the uh, Tay Tay Mini. Yep. So we're halfway through there as well. And that's about that's it. We're not. Uh, let's, let's roll up. Let's, maybe you know the weather's finally good here. Maybe people are outside enjoying the weather. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's. Uh, here in Chicago, I think we're in the in the 20s today. We're we're, we're almost at the, we're, we're like 28. Uh, Tay Tay's got four spots left. Um, but yes, uh, we're at 28 degrees today. I think we're I think we're almost at I think tom- I think next week. I don't yeah, get, it's going to be above freezing. Finally. Don't want to get anybody too excited, but. I believe. Yep, looks like that. Look at that. Oh, look at that stretch right there. Sunday, tomorrow's 37. Monday's 36. Tuesday's 39. Wednesday's 38. Saturday's 30. Look. It's looking up. I hope it's getting better around the rest of the country, too, because it's obviously... Yeah, I, Texas really needs to warm up. Yeah, we've and, other parts of the country have it worse than we do here in yeah. Chicago. Looks like we're going to be in the mid to upper 30s for at least, uh, at least 14 days or so, so... Rolling into March here, yeah, which is crazy. The point where you gotta, you need some warm weather to melt the snow because there's nowhere to put the snow anymore. That's for exactly like you right. You run out of room to put it. I was driving on uh, my street to get to work, and the snow is like off of the, like way off of the uh, the the uh, curb. Mm-hmm. So like the two cars are driving pretty close to each other. But yeah, there's really no, you can only pile it so high. Exactly. We're getting there. We're getting close to some uh, other series being filled. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think there's any football news as of uh, right now. Let's see if I can see if I can see anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any football news right now. It's kind of in a, we're in a, we're kind of in a dead dead football news space, but. Basketball on. The Bucks got a win finally. Yeah, that's good. You a Bucks fan? Uh, I'm not a Bucks. I'm definitely more of a Bulls fan. But I, I did go to a few Bucks games. Um, I had oh, some, when you were in college. Yeah, when I was in college, we could we could get like student tickets. Just like Carol, day of. It, so Carol's in Waukesha. Correct. Yeah. Carol, you. Yep. And so how far is Waukesha from Milwaukee? Uh, like half hour? Not even. Uh, not even. You okay. can get there in about 25 minutes. Okay. Yeah. 20, okay. 25. So yeah, half an hour. I guess is close enough. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've been to some Bucks games. Um, I went at the old Bradley Center. I don't yeah. think I don't think I've been to a game. I went to a concert before I went to. A, no, I think I went to a Pfizer Forum game. Pfizer Forum is gorgeous. They did a great job on that. We're getting another Heisman posted. Uh, did I post that? There is another Heisman up. Yep. Unless it filled yeah, up. Yeah, it's there's. Oh, I'm looking now, there's no, four left. In, no, it looks uh, like it looks like the Heisman number two just the, sold the, out. The helmet number two just sold out too. Uh, short answer is yes. We will get another Heisman posted. Looks like yes. uh, stuff is all good, all good. Uh, yeah, I will post that in a second. Here. All right, no the problem. helmet two is just about ready here. Yep. No. Cool. Cool. We 
can do helmet two here in a second. another yep we're gonna get that going patience is key Heisman is not posted uh, well, yeah. I, I, I understand yeah we'll get it doesn't take it takes some time to get stuff posted so we appreciate your uh, enthusiasm in the meantime gear Helmet, helmet two is ready, so that's ready for you to break. All righty. And we'll get a second Heisman up there. All right, complete helmet number two. Let's get a box number in the chat, please. So the Heisman, yeah, the second Heisman sold down here. Yeah. All right. Oh, come on now. <sighs> Dave, thank you. Heisman, Heisman number three should be up there. Like, just give it a couple seconds, refresh your screen. Perfect. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. 45 to 60. Fire? Fire. JSA COA. He is your brand new starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. We got Jalen Hurts. Ooh. Fire hit right here. This is going to be an autograph. That's going to definitely go up in value. I, I expect big things from him for years to come. Dope hit right there. Chris Hammers, congrats. Dope. H headliner hit, in case I didn't mention that, which I don't think I did. You got a peek at that. I hadn't seen that, too. Very nice. He's got a nice auto as That's well. A good auto as well, absolutely. Simple. Digging it. Legible. We understand who it is. We know who it is. Right? <laughs> yeah, Steve Stuber, thanks, Matt, for filling out that uh, Heisman too. That's what I like, wow, that one quick. Like, boom. It was Steve doing well, I, when I looked doing at the, the when I looked at the page it said seven spots left and I, I was like, boom, like, how'd that fill up so quickly? And then all I did Steve. was Thank you, bud. Let's refresh that, and that's fire. That's so dope. Big fan of Jalen Hurts. Yeah, another guy the Bears could have had in the second round. They I, went Cole Komet. I would have. Uh, still might be a, turn out to be a good player. Let's hope. But yeah, like you know what they? I mean, he was maybe considered like maybe going in the third round. That's true. But you yeah, know. I uh, I guess I I don't really know how I would have felt, but I no no I'm sorry. Uh, I actually wanted the Bears to get Jalen Hurts, and then. That. They could have drafted Jalen Johnson. Right, right. And then yeah, I think that would have been a little yeah, bit Komet better. And Johnson before Jalen Hurts went. Nick Chubb has the nicest autograph. Uh, Who does? He, Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb has a great does autograph. He? Greatest autograph of all time is Curtis Martin. Yeah. Have we had, uh, is it Nick Chubb? Nick Chubb. We've had some Nick Chubb. Uh, yeah, in, in the room here? We have. Uh, I, think, I think the last thing that I saw was a... Many of his. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, don't, 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 don't. All right. Heisman 2 is almost ready here. Yeah, Heisman 2 is coming like in a couple seconds. seconds. All good. No worries. I'm relaxed. Okay, you got it. Heisman 2 is good. Awesome. Steve, thanks for helping us fill that up. Dave, thanks, Bruce, guys. Thomas, thank you for helping us fill that one up. Let's get a box number in the chat, please. We will uh, randomize. 12 times on the randomizer. I, can, I haven't had a 12 in a minute. <laughs> yeah. We should yeah. say the randomizers are between 6 and 7 every show. Then we just. We had a 10, yes, last night, so that was a little <laughs> bit higher than, than oh, normally. No, it's nuts. But um, it's okay. It's okay. We're yeah. Getting so, a real so, good mixture then. Yeah, sometimes people say, why aren't they talking? It's because the host is counting. I've got to count in my head. <laughs> okay. Because there's plenty of times if I don't count it out loud or in my in my head that I go one over or not yeah, enough. I know. It's good. I'm very careful like that to over randomize oh. it and then it's, like, oh, I'm not eating. then it's a mess. All right, here we go. 35 for the Heisman. That's going to be 35 of 35. We've got three more left. We're going to post another single, and then again, like I said a little bit earlier, uh, if we get that third one uh, filled up, we'll do a double to finish off the series. Okay. I feel like that's uh, kind of a cool way to end it off. 35 of 35 Heisman series. These are going to be all college helmets, a mixture of authentics and reps. But most of them, most of them, if not all of them, are all like specialty. So it's going to be kind of like your uh, simple, like that Marshall, that Marshall one was a, was a, I'm guessing a Veterans Day. Oh, this is heat. Heat. I know what this is. Wait, do I? Oh, maybe I don't know what this is. Probably knew what it was. But Come on. Okay, nice little hit right here. Jason, COA, we got ourselves. A. Purdue Boilermaker, we got quarterback Jim Everett, inscription boiler up. Going to the NFC West and Steve Stuber. Steve, nice hit. That is a rep, shut replica. Matt Black with the uh, the green uh, decals. I believe it is for a uh, cancer awareness. Not entirely sure which one it is. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know. Yes, I think we'll get another complete up. Joe's working on it. A complete uh, helmet? Complete helmet, yes. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, this will be number three on the complete yes, helmet. Yes, I believe that is correct. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. All right, I'm going to run down real quick what we got. Five spots left, Heisman number three. Eight spots left, the Duke number two. Nine spots left, Slap Shop, but that's for Tuesday. Four spots left, Tay Tay Mini number one. Five spots left, Jersey number one. Ten spots left, General Admission number one. I'm feeling like it's going to be kind of a complete in Heisman kind of afternoon, but... Hop into some other stuff. Love to break a jersey. Love to break some some minis. I, I like to break the footballs. Those are fun as well.
All right, helmet three should be up there in just a couple of seconds now. Just refresh the page. Uh, Sean, what's going on? All right, it is up there. Complete number three is up and live. Go check it out. Hello, Sean. How are you? Hope all is well. Thanks for joining us, as always. Three spots left, Heisman, all right. Six, six, six. Three left in that Heisman three now. And break complete. We gotta we gotta break some minis today, right? We, we only we haven't have, done one all, yet. All we've done is a personal. Yeah. Far. So we got a we got four more left in that number one uh Tay Tay. Someone asked the other day, like, what's the Tay Tay? It's Devontae Devontae Adams. Adams. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yes. he's one of his is it the nickname he has or does he have another one? Uh, it's the nickname. I, name, think that, I, think, I think that is his nickname. Five left in the uh, jersey, complete jersey, number one. Haven't opened a jersey yet. Nope. I don't know if people could tell. We got a new camera here the other day for the product right there. With, I th I can see the difference. I agree. With with that uh, yep. new camera. We got another one we're going to well, uh, set up here. We're going to figure that one out. I'm not entirely sure yet what we're going to do. But, yes, we're going to we're gonna mess around with it. All right, we got seven spots left complete. Number three, three spots left. Heisman number three, eight spots left. The Duke number two, four spots left. Tay Tay number one, five spots left. Complete jersey number one, ten spots left. General admission. Same duo back tonight, if you're around 8 o'clock Central Time. That is correct. And then tomorrow, Sunday, you got Donnie in the house. And me. And you. You're working tomorrow, too. Yes, sir. No nope. weekend for the Gear Bear. Nope. Uh, it's all right. The girlfriend is working, too, so. There you go. Everybody. Just hang out in the UA break room. It's all good. It's all good. Two spots left, Heisman. Two spots left. Oh. 
change the color on that one. We're now halfway through uh, filling out Jersey 1. Sean Norman's in the house. Or not in the house, but in the in chat. The What's up, Sean? Hope the weather's better out there in Massachusetts, man. I mean, East Coast getting slammed. Southern states. It's literally, yeah, it's like uh, everywhere except for, like, Miami is kind of yeah. crap. You know, even in no, California, you know, it's not... You know, it's better than here, but, I mean, they're rolling with, like, 55, which... Right. I don't know what the seasonal witch we call it is, but... Ready for some outdoor hockey bazooka. Right. You been, you been playing some pond hockey, or a little bit too Today, much work? Today's perfect pond hockey weather. It's, right, like, right. 25 degrees. Exactly. A little sun. You can, you can rock You can rock the You can rock the sweater. Yes, you yeah. Know, you can rock Pretty the sweater without... A little uh, Under Armour or something. Yeah. And then, like, a little jersey over. Exactly. That's all you need. Exactly. But I'm here. <laughs> You no know, complaints. <laughs> you know, rock a pair of sweatpants. You know, it's all, it's all feels you like need. springtime. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, two left in that Heisman number three, and if we fill it, as Gare said, we're gonna we'll post that four as a double. Correct. Absolutely. There we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I, I used to rollerblade a little bit. Uh, we had a rollerblading class uh, again in middle school. Uh, we we did like a rollerblading unit, so we'd go in there and rollerblade, okay. and that was before I figured it out so i would be just skating and then i'd run into our bleachers <laughs> every single day whether that or i'd fall backwards and hit my head it was just bad oh. it was like a, I, don't, I think it was like a two or three week unit unit <sighs> bruised like all over the place it was good prep for football probably for you it was I but guess. uh then i got some roller blades and <laughs> but yeah uh. oh nice I, oh i saw that sean the NHL is playing games on Lake Tahoe. Yes, this, uh, this is it today or tomorrow? The, the outdoor game. Uh, is there one or multiple? I think it's. I think it's just one. You know what's cool? The internet. We can look it up. Ding ding! Right. It's, it's kind of the uh, internet decides. That's it's the. Yeah. What is that game? Is that is it? I think it's tomorrow. Multiple. Tahoe NHL. Here we go. Thirty-one degrees right now. Yes, there are two. Looks like there's two. No, Garrett, see? Uh, here we go. Lake Tahoe. Everything you know about the Lake Tahoe two games. Looks like we've got... Um, well, no, I don't want that. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Avalanche versus uh, Golden Knights this afternoon. Good game. That game just started. That's in Tahoe? Yep. Okay. And then uh, tomorrow at 2 o'clock, we got Bruins versus Flyers. Okay. There you go. So, some cool game. I don't know if you saw, but the uh, the Vegas Golden Knights rocked gold sh oh, yes. helmets. Like yes. A, uh, were they rocking them with their, uh, their uh, whatchamacallit? Their, uh, what, are the, what, are the, what are the alternate jersey called this year? The, uh, gosh, you got me the reverse retro, the if anybody knows oh, in the chat. Okay. Anyway, I think they 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 had they got an alternate jersey. Obviously, they don't have any retro jerseys, but I think it's right. a gold jersey. I think they were rocking the gold helmets. Okay. I saw the gold helmets. Those they were kind were, of cool. those were dope. I think they were super cool. It's just something different because yes. most teams rock white or black or color. Because I think yeah, some teams like they'll rock their like red or navy, but gold chrome looking like the. Uh, the Notre Dame Fighting yes, Irish. Exactly. Um, I, that was the first thought I had. It looked like the Notre Dame helmet. And then I thought, how cool would that be to have a a mini uh, oh, signed gold uh, that'd be sick. Knights, Vegas Knights helmet in the break room. Yeah, uh, by gold, one of their players. Gold helmets. Here we go. I'm going to look these up. Let's see what jerseys Andre they're. Fleury oh, they were just rocking signed. the They were just rocking the black, their their regular home unis. Yeah, the gold, the gold helmets the yeah. buckets were yeah they got a, they got a gold jersey that's their alternate but I, that kind of it's cool it's just like yeah you know, it looks like mark andre Fleury was rocking a gold goalie mask nice. nice the same shiny gold as well very cool there you go just kind of spice it up a little bit uh are the crack are the krakens playing or they're playing next season next season okay yeah i think they were supposed to debut this year 
for this season, but uh, with the COVID and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. I, 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 I've seen a little bit of a, a little bit every everywhere about the the logo. But I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's cool. Yeah, I like the colors they decided to use. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's a little bit interesting. You got to kind of figure it out, but I think there's, there's they did a good really job. Gotta, I, if I've seen it if I, recently, the, it doesn't have any. Nothing says hockey in the logo, though. It's just but the is it a K or what? What is that? The logo is, is an, an S. S. It's an S. So S. It's a, it looks like it's a tentacle with an I. Okay. Which I guess I, I guess at that point is kind of odd because that wouldn't make any sense. But um, yes, it's a, it's like a Seattle. Here, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Logo here. Kraken logo. Yes, so they got, uh, looks like they have a, a S with the I, and then they've got a anchor, but it's the Space Needle. Okay. And then they got a Seattle Kraken's uh, logo. Looks like, a, looks like a, enough chit chat. Looks like Heisman is. Yeah, Chris Hammers is up. filling it up. Fantastic. Appreciate right? it, man. Again, we will get number four up, and that'll be a double box break, and that'll finish off the series. So, yeah, Chris took those final two spots. We've Much got uh, we've got two more left, and then those will be the last ones. It'll be thirty one and thirty four. Will be the uh, the ones we'll do with that. Get a helmet or a Heisman three rather, and Gary can open that. Sick. I think I feel like I have the keyboard too far away from where it should be. Nah, and it's so. Oh yeah, I think that's actually the problem. I have it too far away. I'm not sure how it works. Yeah, it's, it's very temperamental. Lived in Seattle for four years. They were dying to get a team. Most were stuck with Vancouver as their team. Yeah, and Vancouver hasn't been very good either for uh, quite some time. Uh, Joe, you know more about hockey. Can, can you uh, can you uh, agree agree or disagree with that? Yeah, I mean, that, the, the, the Canucks. Yeah. Yeah, they've got some good young players, too. The, the You know, and um, I, I think they should be better. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't quite get that. I don't know. I'm waiting for Seattle to get a basketball team again. I think they're really missing that. I think right. it's just, I think it's just so I think it's too cool of a city and too I think it's too big of a market to not have a basketball team. I agree. And I know there's a lot of current players um, who are uh, are advocating for uh, you know don't know if they'd bring back the Supersonics, but you know some sort of team. Supersonics is a cool cool nickname. It is. It is really. Henry, yes, we do have pucks. We uh, are currently only dropping those, not dropping those, but they're they're available. To buy into, but we're only breaking those on Tuesday afternoons with Joe. Bazooka Joe's our our, our hockey uh, expert, I guess. I think that's true because uh, he knows way way more than Donnie or myself but he, knows. Garrett knows a lot about Rob. hockey. It's like you could you could make, break the hockey stuff. You'd be you'd be fine. Well, last time I broke a hockey thing, I said uh, Iserman incorrectly. Well, Iserman is correct. Or uh, Zer- uh, no uh, no no uh, no. Uh, uh, it's a Red Wings player, Zerman. See, now I don't remember. It's like Y Z E R. Well, that's, that's Iserman, Stevie Iserman. Yeah. I think we have, um, I yeah. think it's in the room, Jersey. I, uh, I mispronounced that. Okay. And um, Yeah, the, those, the hockey stuff, the Slapshot series, it's mainly pucks, but we do have some other cool stuff in there. Uh, three or four jerseys, I believe, in that series. Yep. So, and moving the boxes around, you know, I know that you feel the weight, obviously. So when the box, we open the box... Obviously, we can tell there's a puck in there just by the weight, but the, the really light ones mean there's a certificate in there, mm-hmm. and then we'll explain, and we'll just bring the uh, the product into the room and show it off to you. So, for that investment, you know, ten bucks a spot, I know it's a one out of ten chance of winning there, but um, you could win something really cool. I keep talking about the the Dennis Hull jersey, Team Canada from the '72 Summit Series, where he signs it, Game Eight with the date. <clears throat> Excuse me of uh, of that really cool if you're a hockey big hockey fan historian. So yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of psyched about the hockey stuff. Have been for a while. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <clears throat> we got thirty three of thirty five. Again, uh, Heisman number four will be a double box break that'll conclude the Heisman series. And we just have to wait for. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna post that right now. That double, perfect. And then all we gotta do is just wait for some more inventory, and then we'll get some, some better stuff. Oh, well, not better stuff, but more stuff that is. And uh, hopefully, maybe we can do like a, like a, a football mixer. Maybe we can get some, some college jerseys in there, some college minis. We got a good amount of college minis that came into the door uh, recently. Yep. 
including a really cool uh, black and gray Virginia Tech uh, Mike Vick mini. Yeah, I saw that. That's which cool. Which uh, was cool as hell. We need a Gear Bear Loot Crate. So, is it just signed pictures of me? Just like, just different pictures of me? <laughs> what, exa what exactly, Sean, is a Gear Bear Loot Crate? Got ourselves got, got a Carroll University signed jersey by JSA, Gear Bear. I can, I can print out a bunch of the, the touchdown pictures and we can send. I think those might be worth the most. Um, I don't, maybe some headshots. Maybe those are more valuable. I'm not entirely sure some, what people want. I think if we just got... It's just literally just Donnie and I, like, action photos from college sports. Just signed. Loot crate. That, that, there you go, right? You're either going to get a Gare Bear. Heck, we can get John in there involved. Right. Only I don't. I don't. I don't know if we can. We, we can't really use John. He's a high school player, so I don't think that. I don't want to screw up his potential recruiting if he's deciding to play college basketball. Well, Donnie's a really good golfer. Donnie's like a three handicap. He told me. Man is good. But, so you know, like a signed golf club by Donnie. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be sick. <laughs> well, this is fantastic. Holy moly! We got ourselves a Washington Huskies. Mark Brunel, purple chrome. Oh. Shut That's rep. That's cool. Ninety one national champ. Going to the AFC South and Chris Hammers. Chris and I said, oh, just a near series named after me. Okay. Maybe oh. throw a Gary Bear signed helmet in there. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was like, I. Chris and I said, cool thing about these chrome helmets is like you could like get dressed in the morning and just look at your helmet because you can, the reflection is so bright. It's very you true. Just, you'd be shaving like looking at your helmet. The, 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 uh, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, oh, what is the, uh, that is the something. curvature of it might mess up your, uh, which we call it, a bit, but... Yeah, you might, like, cut yourself or something, yeah, yeah. or, like, you know. <laughs> you know, a Gare Bear, caution. A Gare Bear series, but it's got Gare Bear on the box. It's a picture of me on the box. Hey, it could be the, the Gare Bear series, all Chicago Bears in the series. How about that? Oh, my God. I don't the know Gare that, Chicago Bear I don't know. Series. I don't know how many people would want that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've a, seen, a lot of people would leave the break. I've seen a little bit of... Uh, I don't know. Um, a lot of people are like, "Why?" It's always we got a lot of NFC North stuff, but uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of NFC North stuff. I, we've done a really good job of trying to spread that out. Um, luckily, we've been, we've been getting a lot of new stuff, different teams, so that helps out. All right, Chris, nice hit. That Heisman number four is up on the uh, the website. Fantastic. Thank Double you. Double break. Yes, sir. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get into the final two Heisman full-size helmets, we got 31 and 34 in the room. It'll be a double box break to end it off. And then uh, we'll just have to wait for another college series. We won't. Uh, I don't think we're going to be posting anything for tonight's break. I got to talk to Donnie. We might be posting some new stuff for tomorrow. Uh, if we don't post anything new for tomorrow, Monday, it's going to be a big day for new drops. We got a uh, brand new break time, noon on Monday. So that will uh, officially start our 14 breaks a week, two every single day. So uh, get used to these faces. Get used <laughs> right? To these faces. Sorry. Sorry, you're going to be seeing more of us. Uh, uh, but oh, yeah, every so, yeah. Noon Central Time, Monday through Friday. Yep. Uh, and then every, so seven days a week, eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Central, and then the weekends, of course, same time as two p.m. Central, Saturday and Maybe. Sunday. Yep. So yeah. So hopefully Wait. that works. If, if you miss one break, you know you always got two chances every day to exactly uh, right. It's check really us out here and yep. uh, you know buying at some spots. Hopefully with some uh, really cool stuff. We we still are still getting you know our inventory. Our stuff is getting. Better. We always wanted to be. We, we, we always want more and more and more. But right, right. like, uh, we pull something like that with that that chrome oh, helmet. Very cool. I mean, mm, Super man, right? cool. Yeah. We, get, we get so excited. And you know, in the back room, we see this stuff too. Oh, absolutely. It's it's always it's always fun to see a shipment. And I, since I come in later, you know, Luke's already pretty pretty <laughs> deep on um, breaking boxes. And yesterday was fantastic walking in. And oh, what do we we have? Uh, we had Mike Vick stuff. Some Amon Green stuff. Yep. We have. Uh, Iggy Woods, which is a cool yes. name. 
Some yeah, Javon Curse, uh, Florida, and Titan stuff. Some Benny Kozar, and I think we're continually getting some. Uh, Bernie Kozar, was it? Yeah, Bernie Kozar. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we're constantly getting some just like kind of little bit. So th that's more of a, we got bigger stuff of that coming in. And then there, there's always a, a nice uh, array of some other things that, you know, you'll see. Uh, some headliner stuff. That should be yeah, definitely exciting. Some, we got some fun stuff in the back there that mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to be be part of the breaks hell yeah yeah all right we have a series coming up that i'm super excited for um i won't say anything about it but uh it's gonna be fun a nice uh yeah uh, different yeah different for sure that's all i'm gonna say i don't yeah we're we're un under uh uh you know the guiding series is not to say too much yeah yeah Contractually, we can't yeah, say too much. Contractually, that's right. We, we can't say too much. All right, three spots. Even though left. we want to. Of course. I. We're excited. Yeah, a couple uh, of spots already taken in at a Heisman 4. Oh, I missed. I missed and they saw it on camera. That sucks. I tried to bounce it oh, off the table. Go. We, got, we, got some, we got some guys uh, in. It looks like we have three spots going. left, which also, yeah, three spots left. Right up now. quickly here. Three spots left. Um... I think I think I'm. At, uh, it's gonna be the last. I'm gonna go last call because we haven't seen a lot of orders for anything else other than the Heisman. So uh, see you guys tonight. See you, Chris. Uh, you're welcome. Um, this is gonna be the last call for if you'd like to hop into anything else. We got seven spots left. Complete helmet. Eight spots left. The Duke. Uh, four spots left. Tay Tay Mini. Four spots left. Complete jersey. Ten spots left. General admission. Um, Chris, good little segue right there. We will be back at 8 o'clock, Joe and myself. Um, so if you buy into anything during this afternoon's break and it does not fill up, we will break it tonight. Um, again, I don't think we're going to be posting anything new. So we'll probably just have complete helmets, complete jerseys, minis, uh, the Duke footballs, and general admissions available for tonight. Um, but we'll have a good show. It's going to be another fun weekend at... On the break in the break room, can't not have fun, I guess, right? Yeah, it's breaking sports memorabilia. What, talk what more? Sports, I, mean, I know. What more can you ask for? Beats working. Beats right. Doesn't feel like work. <laughs> Doesn't feel like work. Any plans for tomorrow, Joe? Is your day off? Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, Sunday, no football. It's weird. I know. Like, I have to, like have to do stuff around the house or something. You get no excuses. No, right? You can't sit down. You can't. You can't. You can't tell your wife and say, "Hey, the Bears are playing. I know they're going right. to lose." I have but... to watch. Yeah, I, it's part of the job. <laughs> I have to watch. Can't use that excuse yeah, anymore. Right. Um, that's a good question, Gary. I don't know. Uh, who knows? You know, it's a weekend. You, yeah. Who knows what might happen? If the weather's like this, I'm going to go. There's a pond, like not far from my house so nice i'm i gotta i gotta go and get some exercise love it fantastic uh, i love i can play it pond hockey brings me back to like when i was a kid and i could play like all day hell yeah stop to eat at one point and then just go back and that'd be sweet uh, that's yeah. A, yeah that's fantastic yeah, those are those are the good days and even at my age i still like i will do it all all day that's fantastic i collapse after like an hour now but yeah. Uh, the point is, I still like it. you got to bring the snacks with you. Yes. Lots of snacks. Can't, go, can't go back home and have a sandwich. I <laughs> yeah, can't the, call my mom. The, cla the, cla you know, the classic, whatever, whatever, a ham sandwich with the, with the, you know, the white bread and the, and the potato chips. Uh, good times. Um, I remember those days. Okay, remember I, the... I played a few weeks ago. That Last time we had decent weather, I was on a pond and there were... Like three guys, and they were like in their late twenties, really good guys. And uh, at a while, after, I was like, I was, I was really getting tired. And then I looked at them, and I'm like, I'm like, I think I, I got a rest here. Like, oh, we do too. I'm like, oh, good, it's not just me. <laughs> the young guys were tired too. I, and I didn't feel so bad. Yeah, that's I'm good. I'm like, these probably guys are like, we're not stopping, but no, yeah, they were tired too, which made me feel better. <laughs> oh, Sean, that's super sweet. Sean said he wants the Pats to trade for Minshew Mania, which would be. Just I guess fun, and then he says uh, he's got a uh, he's got a lake right near his house. 
middle of my neighborhood, play high hockey in the winter all the time. Awesome. That's love it. I I haven't strapped on any uh, any skates, rollerblades, or uh, ice skates in a while. I have never ice skated, so uh, you'd be fine. You're an athlete. You pick it up. I think my balance is pretty good still. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, but we are just we got what one spot left in that double Heisman. Thanks so much, everyone. I think yeah. we're going to fill a gear before oh, we get on here. I definitely this completely afternoon. agree with that. We can't leave with seven spots. No, taken. absolutely not. Nope, no, no, no. It's not how we play the games around here. Right? Legendary in hockey. Yeah, you know what? I actually threatened to play hockey. As as all kids do, they always threaten to play every sport. <laughs> and uh, I threatened to play hockey, and uh, it just wasn't in the budget for for my family. Football was was about was a good enough price range for. Uh, Equipment wise and all that stuff, hockey yeah, uh, around where yeah. where I live is just a little bit too intense. Even even the YMCA hockey was a little bit too expensive. Yeah, no, I mean, um, I, I, unfortunately, yeah, hockey is an expensive yeah. sport. If anyone out there has kids playing, you know what I mean. Uh, it's not so much the equipment; all the equipment is more expensive. The sticks right. today are outrageous. Oh my god, you're right. Uh, but it's the ice time, so you're really every, any league you're in, you're you're paying for that ice time, which. Yep. Yeah, I have, I have a niece whose son is a is a goalie. I mean, talk about expensive equipment. The pads alone, were like, are almost you know like a mortgage payment. Oh my goodness, yeah, uh, it's nuts. Heisman's got one spot left. One spot left. Uh, but yeah, no, I played football most of the time. I played two years of baseball. Wish I would have played a little bit longer of baseball, but um, lacrosse got popular, and uh, we, st- we started a new lacrosse league when I was in middle school. Did not have a lot of fun. Um, because it's, as much as it's a team game, whoever has the ball can kind of just do whatever they want. So uh, all the got players who are better than I, who end up playing uh, college lacrosse, I wouldn't say, good acquaintances of mine, I, I wouldn't like hang out with these guys, um, kind of ball hogged a lot. Uh, I scored one goal my entire three years, and it was lucky. Um, it got caught up in my net, in my, in my, in my stick. And uh, it bounced, and luckily the goalie was like 5'3", and it just went over his head. Um, and we'll take the dub at some times. So you got to just take the win. Right. Uh, and then uh, I didn't play the, uh, lacrosse freshman year. Um, watched some rugby sevens and uh, fell in love with that and played that for three years in high school and played football. And now I'm retired and kind of trying to figure out what to do. Right. Yeah, they, they don't ask you how you how many or how you did it. Just, they just ask how many. So right. you got one. Yes, uh, I'll take yes. Score a couple. How couple you did. Yeah. Speaking of how you did it, it's been speaking of hockey. Back, did you see the Patrick Kane goal or Blackhawks uh, last night? The I did not. I didn't, but I, I read a bunch of. For some reason, I read about it on Twitter, but I didn't. No one put put a video of it on Twitter. But uh, I, there was like classic Patrick Kane. They're like so glad Patrick Kane stole Blackhawk and. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. just. Uh, it's not like he's old. He's only 30, right? Yeah, 31? 30, right, right. And people think, like, the Hawks should trade him because they're kind of semi-rebuilding. But yeah. he's still got a lot of hockey left. No, I, it, it's, yeah. Still not a lead player. Still got one spot left in that in that dumb. Oh, I think we just did it. Like Avery Cruz out. delivers. Way to go, Avery. Sean, it, it did settle count as a goal. They did put it on the scoreboard. I still got a little excited. So, yes, it always, it always works. <laughs> it always works. Uh, but, no, I was more of a role player. Um, the unfortunate thing is we had too many guys who were uh, too self-centered. So uh, I was forced to play goalie for two seasons uh, because uh, no one else wanted to because they were like, I want to score goals. Sure. So uh, that sucked because uh, that's just kind of scary, even as oh, a yeah. middle schooler. I bet. Um, Lacrosse. Because that thing's like... That ball hurts. Things like concrete at some times. Uh, yeah. um, so I played goalie for two years, and then I decided that um, I definitely didn't want to do that. Um Anyway, <laughs> I've played all the sports, honey ball, soccer, you know, uh, two years of baseball. But. Heisman, or thanks for filling that up. That'll be a double. Have it there for a, in a second, Gear. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Playing goalie was crazy in literally anything. Like, right? I don't know how soccer goalies do it. Like, that, like for like lacrosse and, and hockey, like those, you're a little bit... Of the size of the goal, but like soccer goalies, I don't know how they can. I don't know if it maybe I don't know if it's easier because of angles and all that stuff. It's really the goal's not as big as it is, or but it's just you're. I, don't, I think it's like uh, 
what is it? Like 16 by 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 yeah, 7 I or something. Know the size, but I, one of my good friends was was our goalie in high school. And yeah. He was like 6'3", decent athlete, but he was nuts. And he, he, therefore, he was a great goalie. Right. Because <laughs> he would just like throw his face in front of a, a oh, wall. Exactly. I mean, like, I'm not doing that. Are you no, kidding me? Absolutely not. I'm not that... I'm not that tough. No. But he was, and he was excellent. Yeah. Heisman 4, ready to go. All Thanks right. so much, everyone. We are randomizing it currently and uh, looking for a box. Oh, no, don't need any box numbers. We got two left yeah, in the room. Never mind, never mind. Don't need any box numbers. We'll be fine. Barely, it. yes. Uh, yeah, there is a... <laughs> the crazy thing is, as you get higher in the level of, of, of lacrosse, the goalies were less and less pads, which, like... Like, there's some, like, Paul Rabble, who is, like, the best lacrosse player. Um, probably, not ever, but uh, he, he shoots a puck, or not a buck, a ball, like, 120 miles an hour. Yeah, no he sense. steps into that, and the goalies in, like, the MLL and all that stuff are wearing, like, shorts, their pads, which are fairly thin, no elbow pads, uh, 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 a helmet with a, a neck guard, sweatpants. <laughs> And it's just like they block it with no with no problem, or they don't. So they, they're pretty much dressing like wide receivers today in the NFL, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Like with pretty pretty much no gear except the helmet. I know it's it was it's just crazy. But it, it's just yeah. It wasn't for me. It's it's uh, it's difficult being a kid and then just kind of talent, being forced to do something that you. No, I want to play attack. I want to try and score goals. I don't want to try and defend it. <laughs> right. Too much of a team player, I guess. 31 to 35. Here we go. Good luck. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Play without a goalie? I don't know. I mean, that... I mean, you could. You, just, you can play with an extra def a defenseman, I guess. Sure. All right. But... Yeah, good. I think I have good enough sports stories. All right. Nice little hit right here. My son wore very little pen because it restricted movement. That makes exact sense. Yeah. Some nasty hits in E-Arvis. Oh, of course, that is, uh, that is tough. Back at COA, that is, that's exactly the reason. Because you got to, you know, if they pass it, you go, you got to. Yeah. Oh, this is a really cool hit right here. Um, let me look up this player's name first. Yeah, that was a good, that's a very good question, uh, Sean. Joe, what did you play growing up? Mostly just hockey? Mainly hockey. I played soccer in high school. But I, like every kid, like most kids play baseball. Yep. Yeah. All right, nice little hit right here. We got ourselves a Arizona State Sun Devil. Nice. We got quarterback Jake Plummer. Really cool hit right here. The uh, the red stripes and the and the Sun Devil are uh, like uh, they got some sparkly whatever. Like burnt orange. It's, color it's it's a very like burntish yellow. Yeah. Because they're yellow and 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 okay. maroon. Wow. Uh, really cool hit right here. It's going to be going to the ANFC West and Travis Blankenship. His longest tenure was an Arizona Cardinal. Travis, nice hit. Very cool. Jake Plummer. Jake Plummer uh, won the uh, quarterback challenge a few times while he was playing. Okay. Was, uh, was a fairly decent quarterback. Good athlete. If Very I good athlete, right? yes. Mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, I think, like 6'5", but um, yeah. definitely was a good athlete. But one of those guys that was probably good at everything. Yeah. Right? One-time Pro Bowler. Didn't do a whole lot. I think in his career, right? Uh, career fifty-seven percent completions. Uh, threw for almost thirty thousand yards, even nice. on touchdowns and interceptions. One point uh, one hundred and sixty-one uh, touchdowns and interceptions. What was, what was the ratio? One. It was it was one to one. One hundred and sixty-one touchdowns, one hundred and sixty-one interceptions. Okay. Jake, he was a Bronco, but he did uh, start and uh, play the most time as a Cardinal. He was drafted by the Cardinals in two thousand ninety-nine. 97. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, and then when he went to Colorado, he really embraced the cold weather and went full long hair and beard. Because when he when he was in when he played at, with the Cardinals, short hair, no beard. Right. And then he really right. aged himself, cowboy-esque. Went with the beard, long hair. <laughs> um, always was a kind of a cool quarterback. Yeah. Right. Chris, you are correct. He did play for the Broncos, but his he, he did... Uh, Played six years as, a, as an Arizona Cardinal. Do not apologize. It's all good. You are correct. Yep, I, I remember pl watching him play, I think, more as a Bronco. I think that was 
because he played in the Broncos from 2000 to 2006. So I, I would say I probably watched him towards the end of his career, you know, 2005 to 2006 as a uh, as a Bronco. Um, not a bad signature. Pretty cool. Yeah, not, not, not you know, it's a even it, when you can't read all the letters, if it, it's kind of with a little flair. And it I, looks pretty I, I cool. believe I, I believe this there. I believe this S right here is snake. I believe it's oh, Jake okay. the Snake Plumber. Okay, is the way he's wrote wrote that. That's what it looks like, because his name nickname was Jake the Snake. Yeah, lengthy dude. I think like six five. Yeah, pretty slim. Maybe like a, maybe in a cool like two thirty ish. Oh, cool six six two two twelve. Oh, I'm thinking he was a bigger guy too. I, th I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was a much bigger guy. Very cool hit though from Boise, Idaho. Next up, we got 34. I can grab it. There we go. Undefeated against Brady in his career. Is that right? That is. Uh, that's what Sean Norman, and usually when Sean Norman says that. I believe Sean. I believe, and he's a Patriots fan, so I feel like he definitely know that. 34, 35. That is a, that's a good, that's a good thing to, you, you can put that on your gravestone if you wanted to. Right? <laughs> you could definitely, uh, you can brag about that a yes, bit. Yes, Absolutely. Brag about that. Wow, very cool stuff. All right. Our final Heisman helmet, our final college football helmet is going to be a, well, I I, I, don't, I don't know if this is the best one in the series, but this is a good way to end it off. We've got ourselves. I won't show it because the picture's there. Heisman Trophy winner. There one of go. the best college athletes I've ever watched. We got ourselves Baylor Bear, RG3 Robert oh, Griffin the third, 2011 Heisman Trophy winner. Awesome, awesome hit right there. Um, Very nice. I believe, I believe he's a Baltimore Raven. But I'm going to double check that. Yeah, I just heard the list of because I feel free as though quarterbacks out there. I believe he might be a free agent, which would mean he his longest tenure was Washington. Right. Yeah, that's a good question. The break room here. Yep. If, since they are technically we had lost. a uh, we had a kind of a difficult one. We pulled uh, Josh Norm or Josh Gordon yesterday, and um, technically he is still a Seahawk. Yes. Uh, uh, looks like. Well, RG three. I mean, I mean, technically, do they become free agents at the start of the new uh, football year in March? Yep, so on uh, Wikipedia it says he's a free agent. So uh, that's going to be a Washington hit then. Going to... Oh! Well, of course, he played uh, three years as a Raven and three years as a Red, as a, as a Washington football player. So uh, that's going to randomize our NFC West and our... Oh, I'm sorry, NFC East and our AFC North. So Cody and George are going to get randomized here. And then top spot wins? Top spot wins, yep. So, uh... Oh, he's got, yeah, he's got the Heisman inscription on there, too. There. He does. Um, so, uh... That was 2011 already. I mean, that's... I know, right? all time. time. Time flies, but... Wow, that's already 10 years. Wow. It's a good-looking helmet. Very cool. All right, so we're going to randomize. Cody and George, 12 times top spot will win. That's two. Sean, you're exactly right. That's two Baylor Bears, who uh, we had a little bit of trouble figuring out which teams <laughs> they played for the most or currently played for. 10, 11, and finally 12. Going to be going to Cody Butler. Cody, congratulations. Nice hit. That is a uh, Baylor Bear shut replica. Very cool hit, though. They both went to Baylor and played at the same time, so um, I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> it means something bad regarding um, another Baylor Bear who uh, is uh, tr unfortunately trying to fix his life a little bit. Uh, uh, Sean Oakman just signed with the Toronto Argonauts, mm. so he's trying to get his uh, his pro career going. Um, you know. Who, knew, who knows what would have happened, you know, but 
right. Life happens, and uh, he's uh, still here to, to try and do some cool stuff. RG3, really dope hit right here. Cody, congratulations. Joe, what do we got? We uh, uh, That's it. We have it. Um, nothing really close to being uh, Yeah, we got stuff filled. with four, but that, that's still a little bit too deep for, uh, for us. Yeah, we still have... Yeah, let's do a rundown. Still, yeah, for still six spots in the complete helmet number three. Okay. Uh, we got that Duke football number two up, but uh, no one has bought a spot in that yet. Uh, the minis, four left in the minis, so halfway through, and then same thing with the jerseys. We don't, didn't open any jerseys or uh, or minis today, so uh, that stays thus far. put thus far, thus exactly. Far. Bar's still open. Bar's still open um, for a little bit. This is going to be it. the last call. <laughs> last call. Uh, you, uh, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Uh, we will reopen the bar <laughs> at 8 o'clock. Yes, exactly. Uh, I thought he was going to be the future of Washington. Sean, I completely agree. Um, just injuries. Um, not really sure. Just um, some know, Dan, fabulous rookie year, right? And yeah. The injury. And One uh, offensive rookie of the year. Uh, went to a Pro Bowl. Yeah. Just uh, some injuries. And, you know, then they drafted Kirk Cousins. So they get, like, you know, Kirk Cousins. Who, play? Who the two, I'm going to draw a blank in the other quarterback. Didn't they go 1 2? Who the quarterbacks in his draft? Oh, uh, I, don't, I hate when I do that. Like I bring up something. It's all right. The twenty. Like I almost like I'm asking myself rhetorically, and then I I don't know that I got to Google it or I got to go to twenty eleven NFL draft. All right, here we go. So what about yeah, the twenty was it uh, the twenty twelve draft? Was it the twenty twenty? Mm-hmm. Uh, no jerseys as of right now. There, Sean. Let's see. Uh, Andrew Luck, RG three. Was it one two right? Yep. Luck went one. Yep. RG three two. Yep. Cousins were taken in the fourth round. They they drafted two quarterbacks in that round. In that in that. They drafted yeah, the, two quarterbacks in that draft. The Browns. No, the Washington. Oh, our Washington rather. Yeah, Washington. Yeah, they did. They drafted Kirk Cousins in the fourth round. That oh, is odd. I remember that now. That's Gosh, odd. I'm glad, I'm glad we, we looked that up because I totally forgot. But then if you mentioned that, like, oh, now I do yeah. remember that. That's uh, like because people think, what are they doing taking Cousins? Exactly. Who did the Bears take in this draft? Huh. Well, classic Bears. Oh, Shane. Oh, God. Oh, is that the Shane McClellan? Jesus. Right? Uh, yes. Uh, Later played for the Patriots. Let's see. Uh, uh, went to a Super Bowl? Won a Super Bowl with the Patriots. Fun fact. He did. He did. Right? He was, Sean, on, Shane he was on the 28 to 3 uh, Falcons team. Sorry, Falcons fans. Um, <laughs> yeah. here, here's Bear, who Bears could have taken in. They could have gotten Harrison Smith a little bit earlier in that draft, could have gotten Chandler Jones. To be honest, this first round draft of this 2011 draft was kind of trash. Yeah, I mean, if you want to torture yourself, just go, you know, because every oh, yeah. fan of the, their team can do it. Look back on who you missed, who, you know. But yeah, you, I mean, you can do that. Every even even good uh, teams miss guys. And, you know, they could have got a Bobby Wagner. There you go. Um, I mean, they got Alshon in the second round in that draft, so not too that bad. Was good. Bobby Wagner was taken that, in the second round. Good second round pick. Uh, to be honest, this tra- this was kind of a trash draft. Yeah, who are the top ten? You have the list there. Yeah, we got top ten. We got Andrew Luck, RG three, Trent Richardson, Matt Khalil, Justin Blackman, Morris Claiborne, Mark Barron, uh, Ryan Tannehill, Luke Keekley, Stephon Gilmore. Uh, well, the, the nine and ten are good. Keekley and, and, and Gilmore. Don Terry Poe is wasn't didn't do too bad. Fletcher Fletcher Cox is uh, a pretty, t- but yeah, I mean, then you go Michael Floyd, which is nah. Michael uh, Brockers, I don't think had of that too good of a career. Mike, Bruce Irving was pretty solid for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Quinten Culps, I don't think did anything. Drake Kirkpatrick was a pretty solid. Uh, Melvin Ingram is a, still a Charger, so that's still a good pick. Shane McClellan, trash. Kendall Wright was a solid receiver. Chandler Jones is still good. Brian Whedon, terrible pick. Another Browns bad pick. Uh, Riley Reef is a good uh, uh, tackle. Mm-hmm. David DeCastro is still a solid yeah. guard. Dante oh, Hightower boy. is uh, was good too. Uh, Whitney uh, Merkelis, don't know who he's playing Whitney for. Mer- yeah, Merkelis. Yeah. Kevin. Uh, Carolini player. Z- Zietler, Zietler. Nick Perry, Harrison Smith is good. AJ Jenkins, I mean Doug Martin, David Wills. I mean not See, very this, good this stuff. Just go down like a rabbit hole with some of these drafts. It's like Terrible. oh, I remember. And then I almost feel like I feel the agony like when they passed on that guy um, and wanted, and then the you know. I know. But then I think, yeah, I really like that guy, and then he's like, didn't turn out to be any good. So, right. 
But it, it, it's fun. I, I can do that like all day. I know. I, Those quarterbacks for the first are still on their original teams from 09 to 16. That's exactly right. Yeah, the QBs. Uh, Jared Goff was the last yes. one. Craziness. That is incredible stuff. All right, I think that's going to do us for us this afternoon. Um, thank you, as always, for joining us. Thank you for almost fi finish off the Heisman series. Uh, what we'll have already uh, available for tonight will be complete jerseys, complete helmets, the Duke football, Tay-Tay Minis, and Drill Mission baseball signed tickets. Make sure you join us tonight, 8 o'clock Central Time. Joe and I will be back in the room. Um, hope everyone has a great rest of your Saturday afternoon and, and early evening. Um, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you when we see you. Peace out. See you.